All right, we are back. And uh, let's just go for a couple of more stories. Let's do primrose. Oh, primrose is here. Interesting. Okay. I don't think I could fought, fight that guy now, uh, now that I think about it. Anyways. Let's see. Your tale. You have come to Everhold in pursuit of Simeon, who revealed himself as the ringleader of the crow crows. Here, you soon find that the stage has already been set. Story so far. In her hometown of the Noble Court, Primrose brought down the second of her sworn foes. There, she was also reunited with her childhood friend Simeon. He approached her tenderly, yet what he bore was the gift of pain. Simeon's scarf unraveled the grafts in Primrose's fingers as she fell, laying bare the mark of the foul crow on his neck. The friend she cherish cherished so dearly was the last of her foes. The man who had brought death to her father and ruin to her family. What motives could a man have for his vile deeds, Primrose could not begin to imagine, but it mattered little for her ultimate goal was clear. All would come to an end in Everhold. This is the stage for the final act. Oh, a crow, you get it? Very won't be a happy ending for you, Simeon. Oh, child banter. Hey. How are you holding up? Hmm. I'm fine, I can handle him. If you say so. That man's not just wicked, he's cunning too. There's no telling what tricks he'll try to pull, better be ready for anything. Thanks for the advice, I'll watch out. Heh. What? It just occurred to me. I never thought that having companions would actually give me courage. Courage is all and well, uh, all well and good, but so is the vigilance. Don't let your guard down. Don't intend to. I look forward to seeing what you can do as well. And I'll be sure to give you a show. I just remembered. I never mind. I did equip the dragon scarf. Can I do anything for you? No. No. Ah, but our special guest is arrived. Welcome, welcome. Truly fortune smiles upon me this night. Curtain is about to rise. I trust you will enjoy the show before you go on your way. Of course. I own this theater. I come from time to time to enjoy the crowds and the ambience. Needless to say, I also pen the production we're putting on today. It's a tale of a young noblewoman's life, not a particularly original topic to be sure, but nevertheless. I did write it for you, Primrose. Lovely. This guy seems kinda psychopathic. Or sociopathic. How touching. But I'm afraid I came for a different kind of show. <laughs> have you now? To have made it this far alive, it would seem you, you too have a fortune on your side. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I do. I think you will be feeling less fortunate when the night is over. Prepare to die, Simeon. <laughs> Such strong words. But I ask you, my dear Primrose, are you prepared for what awaits you? You have my deepest respect, Primrose. Truly you do. It's not an easy road you've chosen, is it? You're wrong. I've only walked the path I had to walk. Oh? Oh, now is that so? Come but now. enough prologue, let the show begin. Ah. 
Oh, hark unto the tale of a girl, pure and true, who in her all too fleeting life knew such misery as no other ever knew. Uh, our daughter, our precious girl. Thank the heavens. She's healthy and whole. She has your look about her, my lord. And a cry as strong as your cry in battle. <laughs> this is good. She will need to be strong indeed. For the future of her house will one day rest upon her shoulder. <laughs> you ask much of her newborn babe. It is not wonder. It's no wonder she cries so. Quite right. We will raise her to be a fine lady, strong, kind, and just. One will treat all she meets with respect and compassion. Yes. We hmm. When she's a woman grown, when she's a woman grown, she will fashion for her the finest suit of armor. Or we will fashion for her. Oh. And the finest gown as well. She must stand out in the ballroom as well as on the battlefield after all. Oh my. Look, she smiled. Even her smile she takes after you, my lord. She, yes, she will be a strong woman one day. What? What am I doing? I cannot let myself be distracted by this, this mockery. That, oh, child banter? I swear, who does that seem in oath think he is playing with someone's heart like that? Huh. Well, I won't let him get away with it. You have my full support, Primrose. I appreciate it, but listen, Tressa. Hmm? I'm sure you'll find the right man someday, so please don't give up. What? No, wait, I wasn't... After all, not only are you pretty, but you've got a personality to match. Why, if I were a man, I'd marry you in a heartbeat. Hey, I was being serious. Uh, sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Every time, man. Every time Tressa has something to say in travel banter, it backfires. <laughs> For her, that is. <laughs> it's funny. She can't catch a break, can she? An item. That's looking good here. I'll just medium size. Well, there is one large. Make sure I get this. And out we go. The arena. This is a big place. Go. Come on, I've got better things to do. I am ready. So if I do this. And this. They die. Where's the nearest tavern? Purple chest. Let's go. Ethereal dancer's guard. Not the like, absolute greatest, not awful, I guess. Will I die if I just do this? No, not quite. I am ready. Why didn't I boost that? Ugh. <laughs> 
Okay. That's what I'm talking we won't be about. doing this for much, uh, much longer. Just enough to level up Therion so he gets his SP back. Okay. This is the beginning of your end. <laughs> well. I appreciate it. Really. There's no way I was gonna get my SP back there. I mean, no way I was gonna be able to use the War Master skill there. Can I kill the Trade Tempest? That's the right way. We don't really want to go the right way, do we? <laughs> Open for business. Out of my way. Let's just do it. We only need one more. Before he levels. Ah! I'm ready. Here are those. The show is over. There we go, level 69. Oh, it actually wasn't planned, I, I didn't notice. It's fun when it works out. Level 69. You don't know what 69 is? Then you're too young. And don't worry, you'll find out eventually. <laughs> Here we go. Kinda of considering putting on evasive maneuvers. Just to um, reduce the encounter count. Step right up. It's a bit much. And notice these uh, the enemies, the humans with daggers, they're uh, They've been a recurring enemy in all the chapters so far. Does that mean that they're all involved in the same organization? <laughs> like all the chapters? They kind of tie together? This is the beginning of your end. I am ready. Oh, another purple chest. Unseen Saber. I think I've seen this before. Yeah. So not quite as unseen as uh, he thinks. <clears throat> Sorry. And move on. Ready or not, here I come. Out of my way. Chest. Come on, I've got better things to do. I am ready. Right, jam. This game really loves to throw jam in our face. Let's go to the side first. May I understand? Out of my way. I'm really tempted to put on evasive maneuvers right now. These encounters are... Uh... That's annoying. There's nothing there. Open for business. 
My turn. Is that sausage? Looks like sausage. This is the yeah. That's the room. Come on, I've got better things to do. Should be at the boss arena soon. All right. Just almost didn't see it. Inferno amulet. It's probably like greatly reduce uh, fire damage. Yeah, I already have one. Who cares when you have a reflective veil, right? Father. Father, look at me. Look, look at me. Father, look, look at me. Very good. Why, how did you learn to dance so gracefully, my little lady? <laughs> I've been practicing for you, father. I see. Is that so? And you have scraped your knees, show me. You've been practicing long and hard, this I can see. Primrose. Primrose, forgive me. For what, father? I've been too hard on you, my daughter. Burdened you over much with my expectation. It's expectations. <laughs> Don't worry for me, father. I am strong. And I will do anything for the glory of House Azelhard. That is what I believe in. My reason for being... Is this just child <laughs> speaking? Sounds brainwashed. You're a strong girl, Primrose. You do our family proud. But someday you must find a cause of your own. Cause that will bring you happiness. I'll always love you, Primrose. Father. Enough of this. I must keep moving. More people to steal from. It seems to be a guard for each element. What's this wind? Light. Hmm. Is this a precursor to how the boss fight is gonna go? Okay. I take back what I said when I thought the boss arena was close. I'll make this quick. Out of my way. Chest. Not that there are many thing, uh, things I need now. May I Let's just double save. I really don't want to go through all of that again. <laughs> Father, no. Why did you have to die? Why did you leave me? Oh, woe is me. However, I might to go on without you. I've only done as my convictions made bade me do. I have no regrets. Oh. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. Father! <laughs> Took my father from me. Not forgive this. And for that, Simeon, you will pay. <laughs> oh, father. <laughs> hmm. 
Little lady, why do you cry so? No matter how dark the night, look at the stars and carry hope in your heart. You are. Who are you? <clears throat> Coming for you, Simeon. My journey is nearly over. It all ends tonight. Not if he escapes. <laughs> Are you all right? You all right, Primrose? Yes, yeah, sorry. Shucks, Primrose, you're always charging forward with a full head of steam. Not looking left or right, just staring straight forward at the gold in front of you. But sometimes you gotta stop and take a break, take a look around you. Perhaps you're right. There, I looked around now, let's get going. Right behind you. I think that's what he meant. I don't think Primrose quite got the message. Step right up. I am ready. That's a savage axe those guys have. With a massively long blade. Okay. Um it's a lot of routes here. This is not the right way. Want to tangle, huh? Let's do this. Finally, get hit. Uh, For you, Tressa, on on the first draw. <laughs> All right, time to steal the show. Where's the nearest tavern? Nice. Actually, Primrose is about to level too. Chests, vitalizing jam. I mean, who knows? All of these items might become useful later. Tangle, huh? Look at the back end I'm blade ready. of that the axe that these enemies are holding. Look how long that is. Just, Jesus, imagine being stabbed by that thing. <clears throat> Alright, I think this is it. Simeon. No voice acting though. Shush. You'd be so kind as to not interrupt. This is one of my favorite scenes, you know. Perhaps you'd care to watch it with me? I said the best seat in the house for you. No. I'll stand. You know what I've come to do. Come now. No, no, let's not rush things. I invited you for a reason. Just go stab him, Jesus. <laughs> That's... <clears throat> Sorry. Invited me? You tried to kill me. <laughs> I took care to stab you in just the right place. That you could have lived or died. It's the uncertainty that makes for true drama, you see. If you had died, the play would have ended. But if you've lived, then the next act could begin. Hmm. I've been satisfied with either outcome, of course. There are any number of ways to end a tale. But live you did, and now you have dutifully taken the stage to play out your role in this tragedy. Tragedy. <laughs> it's just a delightful show, let's not lower the curtain yet. <sighs> Must you look at me with such a face? Are you two not an artist of sorts? Surely you can appreciate the beauty in this. All the suffering, the pain that humans are capable of feeling, condensed into a few brief yet sumptuous hours. Sumptuous hours. Theater is life and life is theater. I just stabbed this guy already. Surely you can see this, yes. Your life was a beautiful tragedy from the moment you were brought into this world as a squealing baby. How many times in your life have you felt blessed to be here? And has life ever seemed a gift? This world is nothing but pain nigh beyond the point of bearing. Constant, inescapable darkness. I will tell you the only joy I have found in life. 
watching the life of others fall apart. The sweet fantasies that people imagine their existence to be inevitably crack and shatter to pieces. And I savor the tragedy, tragedy of each and every downfall because oh it is delicious. That one moment, that glorious instant when I see a man, a woman lose all hope, that is the only time I truly feel alive. That's because you haven't tasted chocolate cake. That's another moment when you feel alive. But I digress. Do you understand now, Primrose? For love your love for your father and his for you, it was a beautiful, fleeting thing. But it was all the more beautiful to see it all come apart. That's right. I thank you, Primrose, for inspiring me so. You lived all this time for the sake of your revenge. You clipped the left of my wings. And then the right. And now you stand before me, your true foe. Hmm. But do you not find yourself wondering? What your father would say if he could see you now? Do you truly believe this is what he would have wanted for you? To throw away all your hopes and dreams for the sake of revenge? My father is gone. I don't think he'd be happy at all. I think he'd say this. Live not for me, for I am dead and gone. You must find your own happiness. Father. Primrose, will you dance for me once more? I wish to burn the sight of you into my memories, that it shall never fade. Yes, father. She will need to be strong, indeed. For the future of our house will one day rest upon her shoulders. You haven't forgotten your debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. It's a shame, Primrose. You were always my favorite. Quite the dancer yourself, in the end. And I know that, deep down, you have a good heart. Primrose, you must find that faith in yourself. I will send you to your father's side. Now to remain. Lady Primrose, what do you believe in? She will be strong. We will raise her to be a fine lady. Strong, kind, and just. Reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. This man should not live a moment longer. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. And you know what they say about birds of a feather. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! <laughs> but someday you must find a cause of your own. A cause that will bring you happiness. I will always love you, Primrose. I... 
What... what has this all been for? But no. Father would understand. And this... this will be the end of it. When I plunge this dagger into your breast, it will all be over. Why not use the word chests? Just curious. Wouldn't that just sound better? I will finish this. Or heart. Perfect. Yes, just perfect. The depths of emotion that burn in those eyes. That is the girl I fell in love with so many years ago. A woman truly worthy of my genius. Now, come to me, Primrose. And let me bring this beautiful tragedy to a close. Time for the main event. My turn. Hmm. Some faceless enemies in front. Nice touch. Anyhow. Um. I think this hits everybody. So we all we do is just. I appreciate it. Really. Make sure our mana is topped off. Use um, the boost. All stars fill us with power. Here goes nothing. Let's reflect the veil on right back at you, Alfin, just in case. We'll just use uh, transfer. Feel the power. It's probably not needed, but <laughs> I could technically have gone for the boost. Um, the um, full attack this turn if I had boosted uh, Therion I mean don donated to Therion Therion but I wanted to actually use divination shooting comets lead us on our way what the hell is happening to the attack <laughs> question mark this. question mark SVE bug or is it just because they're supposed to be puppets I think it's supposed to be puppets because he's like the puppet master. It's a nice little touch. Here we go. Make it feel like those people in front. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, okay. It says Marinette, dancer Marinette, and father Marinette. The miracle of hell. Oh, nice. We get to use, um... Speed boost. Okay, well, let's see how... Oh, speed boost isn't necessary, actually. If I was gonna use this... Over. That'll do her. My turn now. Don't know what element he's weak to. So I'll just side that. 
Maybe I should- nah. I was sick of donating, but it wouldn't matter. I appreciate it, really. I am ready. Shoot to be shooting star. Dark. Okay. Here goes nothing. Right back at you. Here I go. Darkness. I like the music. My turn. Not exactly an exciting fight, but uh, you know, it carries some emotion. What to do? Spear. Oh. Time to close up shop. Level fifty-nine on primrose. No! No, something's not right. Yeah, I'm overleveled. <laughs> that's what that's what's not right. This isn't enough. Not yet. We still haven't seen the full depths of the darkness inside you. Show me more, Primrose! Show me the darkest shadow in your heart! You hate this, don't you? You are full of regrets! I regret nothing. <laughs> Foolish girl! You think your father would be proud to see you like this? Bloodying your precious family heirloom for petty revenge? Tell me, have you even visited your father's grave? No. First, I must do what must be done. When I can look him in the eye and tell him he is avenged, then, and only then, will I go. My poor little Primrose. How you lie to yourself so. Can't you see that you're running away? You can't bear to face your father, to show him your blood-stained hands. This was never about avenging your father, was it? You were simply trying to fill the emptiness in your heart. But you couldn't accept that. So you twisted your memories of your father beyond recognition. Until you convinced yourself that he would want this. <sighs> it's true, isn't it? You speak nonsense. How did it feel when you killed my men? Did that fill the hole in your heart even a tiny little bit? Enough. Shut up! You can admit it, Primrose. You don't need to be strong anymore. Stop it! Just stop. You have no place in my heart any longer. Father. Can I tell you something, Father? Something I've never told anyone before. The truth is, I hated it. I hated my life without you. I hated the loneliness. I hated not having you by my side. But it's almost over now. Please, Father. Forgive me. Come now, Primrose, it's okay. 
Abandon this madness, my dear girl. You don't need to lie to yourself any longer. That hard look on your face doesn't suit you. You know you were made for softer things. I am Lady Primrose of House Azelheart. And I swear on my ancestor's name. And on my father's blade. I will not lose faith. My faith shall be my shield against you. Time for the main event. Oh. Out of my way. So fighting in two times, huh? How cool with that. Really... I don't mind. Nothing. Let's see. Damn. Primrose is silenced. What to do? Feel so the power. So how do we break open his uh Defenses. Catch me again. My turn. Well, probably by I appreciate the real breaking his shield. No, good. no okay. Here we go. So I'm guessing I have to wait for a phase or something. Let's, uh, boys, let's see what happens. Out of my way. Oh, can't. No. This, I guess. 77.4k. Anyway. I think that's the highest I've reached. Could have been higher if I had speed buff, but. Do I just try to shoot? My turn now. Oh, my headset is kind of breaking apart here. There we go. Here we go. Right. Um. I think he's almost dead. Spot a crack in Simeon's defense. Shucks. No good. Oh no. Ah, she has switched to axe. That's okay. Five turns of silence on Tressa. How about oh. No. Six turns of silence. <laughs> oh no. Shucks. Hmm. Can I concoct something? Um Poisonous effect. Fuddling. Let's try this, I guess. Oh, bad choice. I could use items to. What's this? Interesting boss. He blocked out the order, so I can't see who does what. Let's summon a companion. Oh no! Shucks! Becomes too annoying. I'll use an item. Try this. Didn't do anything. 
besides healing. Um, I might have to start using items. Can't be wiped, can we? Oh no. <clears throat> I'll use another. It's probably way too wasteful, to be honest. But I am ready. Let's just be sure. Watch me now. With the grace of Seal Tige. Let's hope it doesn't do anything stupid. Mental degradation, huh? It's a debuff. Bring it on. All right. Enough of this. Let's get down. I got just what you need. I am ready. Hmm. Didn't you do anything special? Our stars fill us with power. I think we're fairly safe, to be honest. All right. Ah, see the sword. Okay. Right back at you. Set up the defenses while Therion breaks the shields. Dude, he's gonna get. Wait, he attacked the guard? It's not gonna work, friend. My turn. Guardian Lion Dog! Oh. Okay. Where's the nearest tavern? It was a little bit troublesome, but uh, nothing I can't handle. Bravo! Oh, bravo! Also, we got an armor piece called v Vendetta Armor, so we really have to check that out. I have seen the full depths of your heart. It was more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. And now. For our climax. Come, Primrose, and plunge your precious dagger into my breast. Every show must come to an end, Primrose. It is time to lower the curtain. And when the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow, would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer, for it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Goodbye, Simeon. Yes, Amber! The theater piece is um, playing out what Simeon wants, because he was in love with Primrose. <laughs> This is dark fantasy.
father. Is that his dad? At long last, I can face you again. I did as you always taught me, father. I found a cause I could truly believe in, and I kept my faith. Since the day that you were taken from me, I swore I would avenge you. And avenge you I did. And yet, even now that my long journey has ended, and I have done all that I set out to do, why? Why does my heart still ache with this hollow pain? What am I supposed to believe in now? What cause will carry me on from here? But this is something I must find for myself. And until I do, I will keep dancing. Who's that guy? Okay, well that's Primrose. Pretty dark story, but... Nothing like... Mind, no mind blowing twists or anything. It's basically, oh, a sword with a mental attack. It's the first time I'll buy it. So, yeah, I'll buy a couple. So yeah, that was Primrose. Good character. Uh, dark story, but uh, again, nothing like twisty or mind blowing layout there. It's fairly straightforward. The villain Simeon was a little bit too much for me. A bit too much yapping. I'm more, uh, I'm more in the school of a good villain is a villain that acts, not talks. So. Anyway, let me just quickly... Let me actually use this. Might be the wrong choice, but... Yeah, I think that's fine. Anyways, next one, Alfin. Let's go do Alfins. Where is the tavern? That, oh, there it is. Your journey as an apothecary has carried you to Orwell. Your confidence shaken, you pray that this is where you'll fill the find the answers you seek. Story so far. In Saints Bridge, Alfin used his talents to save the life of a thief named Miguel. But as soon as the man could walk again, he kidnapped and wounded an innocent boy. That boy is hurt for life. Was Alvin wrong to believe what he believed? Was Ogun right? Are some lives truly not worth saving? Alvin looked at the sky. Tell me, what would you have done? There were no answers to be found. And so, with self-doubt festering in his heart, Alvin arrived in the town of Orwell. You know. Oh. I've come all this way and I feel like I've found more questions than answers. You listening up there? Still no sign from me, huh? Hmm. Snap out of it before I wrong step put wrong step 
puts me at the bottom of this cannon. Howdy there, why so glum? Truth is. Oh, woe is me. My poor wife and kids are fighting for their lives. Why did this damn plague have to come to my poor to our poor village? Haven't we suffered enough? That Sasha of yours, I don't reckon you're an apothecary. <laughs> reckon I am. I I am the plague you and the plague you speak of is this, is what brought me here. Oh. oh thank the heavens for once the gods smiled upon us. Let's go. Just show me to my patience. I'll do well I'll do the best I can. Fair and well. Thank you, pray follow me. Huh? Big pardon if I'm just imagining things, friends, but is something the matter? You're looking awfully glum yourself. Hmm? Oh it's nothing, nothing at all. Now we should hurry. We should hurry. I can't let them see me brooding. At any rate, I have a job to do. That's a lot of them. Kensuks. Just look at them all. I'm coming in. Oh, Ogin. The hell's wait, that's Excuse me. Before I be begin the treatment, I would uh, I would know a few things about you. That'll do. Sorry to pry. Now let's see what we can do about your cough. Oh, thank you, Mister. The name's Ogun. Name's Ogun. I'm a traveling apothecary of sorts. A little bird told me your village was in rough shape, so here I am. Oh. Not one, but two apothecaries came to our humble town. <laughs> Mayhap the flame shines bright upon us yet. How can we ever repay you? I'll be on my way. Think nothing of. Forgive me. Forgive me. Well. Thought your hands were steadier than that, old man. Howdy. Keep meeting, eh? You. You again, figured you had given up and gone home already. It seems you're made of stronger stuff than that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right I am. Take away my medicine and dog, dog grit and there'd be nothing left. Save for a love for a good drink. <laughs> if you say so. Mind if we shoot the breeze? Anyhow, what with all the patients needing attending, it's good to have you around. Let's save a team up. Two sets of hands are better than one. I think no. Thanks, but no thanks. I always work alone. <sighs> how did you know you? How did I know you'd say that? As you like, then I'll do the same. Well now. Phew, that takes care of everyone. Now they say I've worked up quite a thirst. I think I'll hit the tavern. See you around, Ogun. The fellow gave you some medicine just now, yes? <laughs> Thanks be to the flame, he must he most certainly did. Let me see it. Let me see it. It only take it only take a moment. Okay, what's he up to? Um <laughs> Tressa again, let's see how this one backfires. <laughs> Say Alfin. What is it, Tress? I'm feeling a bit tired, truth be told. My back is killing me. Evan looks like he's feeling down, I guess I should say something. So I'm gonna see you around, you'll cure any illness I get, right? Right. Because you always brew the best medicine you possibly can, right? Damn right. But your portions are still nothing compared to Ogun's, right? You got that- hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'll pit my cures against his any day of the week. I'll show you who's the top apothecary around here, just go watch. Eh, uh, too easy. <laughs> okay, that was well played. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, tap. Let's save first. Huh. 
<laughs> A flagon of your strongest, my good man. How are you? Something eating away at you, friend? <laughs> Shucks, is, that, is, is it that obvious? Well... Might as well be written on your face. Sorry about that. It's nothing, just a, a lost love when I'm already in the midst of forgetting. Hmm. If you're trying to win me over, you're going to have to try harder than that. Whoa. There she goes. <sighs> Lying isn't your strong suit, is it? Hmm. So I'm not the only one who needed a stiff one. Long day? Uh, <laughs> Heed my words, boy. Tell too many lies, even little white ones, and one day you'll forget what the truth is. You don't say. Thanks for the diagnosis. <sighs> diagnosis. I saw the medicine you gave the villagers back there. Sloppier than before, almost as if your heart wasn't in it. Oh? Nothing gets past you, does it? To tell the truth, all this time I've been thinking, what am I, what am I really doing this for? And these days, I just don't know. I can't find an answer. Nah. Nor I, and I wager I've been searching for a fair bit longer. Hmm. Uh, you don't say. Huh? Hey, is this me, or are your hands shaking? I'm afraid the answer is no. I think you've had one ale too many. Hmm. We're both exhausted, I'm sure. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> right. There are no answers, not for me. Hey yo! Alfin! Alfin! Oh? Oh hey there, what can I do for you? Well a fever is getting worse by the hour. Oh. Ogun was taking care of you, wasn't he? Could have bought the dolls? Question mark? <laughs> uh, perish the thought. Why, Sir Ogun's a thousand times the path the carry you'll ever be. The hell? Why, why, if you're so goddamn fond of that old grump. <laughs> I jest, I jest. Please, sir, I beg your help. Master Ogun's worn to thin to impose. What? Worn thin? <laughs> Why just today must have dropped his tools some twenty odd times. Later he started coughing something terrible and then he just wandered away. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. The fact is. Oh, with all the patients he's been seeing, no wonder he's tired and all. Hmm. Gah. Melissa, please, please forgive me. <gasps> Always the same dream. <coughs> no rest for the weary, my patients are waiting. Should walk around town and see if anyone needs my help. Slow start to this one, that's for sure. <laughs> I must say, Alfin, you seem to be enjoying yourself at the uh, ale house yesterday. Oh yeah, me and me get along just fine. I could tell the number of times I had to fill your mug, you should thank me, you know. Uh, I suppose I should. You, sh you could have poured Ogan a drink from time to time too. The man seemed to prefer his own company. Ah, uh, don't worry, he's just an old grump anyway. But I figured he'd cheer up quick if you showed him a dance or two. Hmm? There's a real magic in the way you move on stage, it'll brighten, it'll, it'll brighten anyone's dance. Smooth talker, are we? Heh. <laughs> I ain't just talking, I'm telling you, I bet even Ogin wouldn't be able to tear his eyes away. And maybe I will pour him a drink next time. What's this guy being a pimp for? <laughs> Is that Ogun? You're too kind. 
Save my life, traveler. How can I ever repay you? Just doing my job. Just doing my job, and with that, I'll be on my way. Hey, ya. Feeling all right? Not so fast, old man. You. You again. What's the matter? What's this I hear about you dropping your tools and hacking all over your patients? <laughs> Not one for tact, are you? What's the matter? Got a bad case of the runs? Afraid the answer is no. Even if I did, it'd be none of your Come concern. On now. Right, right, whatever. Why don't I just take a quick look? That'll do. Why, do, why don't you just mind your own business? <laughs> Come on, old man. I believe it. Believe it or not, I'm worried about you. Ah. How touching, but look, I know my body as well as. <coughs> he gets. Good grief. You're getting a checkup whether you like it or not. <sighs> Keep your bloody hands off me. <laughs> Told you I'm perfectly aware of what's happening to my. <coughs> huh? So you knew you were about to hawk up all that blood, eh? You're sicker than a dog, and I'd be the one sorry apothecary to let you walk away untreated. Now be a good patient here. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Go ahead and treat me then, if you can. Son of a... You still don't trust me, you son of a... <laughs> Hell sent our nation. <sighs> Holy... You're falling apart, inside and out. Your forehead's nigh on fire, and what in blazes is this horrible purple rash. It's a miracle you're even standing. How could you let yourself get in this state? Don't you get it? If you don't treat this, you're going to die. Hi. Tell me something I don't know. What the? If you knew, then why? It's none of your concern. Even if I told you... What would you be able to do about it? Nothing, that's what. I'll be on my way. Forget about me, Alfin, for both our sakes. Someone around here must know something about Ogun. There's a hidden item. Oh, that would matter. But add curiosity. No? And addiction to loot. Nice chatting with you. Ogun's muttering. Melissa, maybe measuring blah blah blah. Okay. Save. Man, this uh, this story took a bit time to uh, ramp up, or this chapter, I, sh I should say. But it's a damn it! How do you know her name? I told you the story of how I came to cho to choose my patients. Yes, told me you lost your dear wife. That that she was murdered in cold blood by a man whose life you saved. Aye. Aye, but the story doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. After that, I set off on a journey. I had no hopes, no aspirations, I just wanted to help someone, anyone, in any way I could. Anything, anything to do Melissa proud. But, but it wasn't to be. One day, in a far-flung village, I found him. The man who murdered my beloved. He had a family of his own, a wife, a boy of some five summers. When I saw them together, smiling and laughing, something broke inside me. So I waited till nightfall and snuck up in the man, uh, snuck up on the man when he was alone, and left him in the same shape he left my dear Melissa. K. 
can't be. It was a strange feeling, though. Saving his life took days, ending it took but an instant. Human life's a fleeting and fragile thing, eh? I fled from the village as fast as and far as I could. From there, I continued my journey as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? None of these people know the man who saved their lives stole another. I can't bear to think of the pain and suffering I inflicted on the man's family, so I don't. But every day I ask myself, what right do I have to play God with these blood-stained hands? Time and again, I thought of ending my own life, but I'm too much of a coward to do the deed. <sighs> How many years has it been now? In my travels, my body has come to be ravaged by every plague and pestilence our realm has known. But never once have I thought of treating myself. I am a murderer, a sinner. And mine is not a life worth saving. You see now, Alfin? This is the answer I found. I'm feeling a bit tired. Pray leave me to rest for a while. That stubborn bastard. Ain't there nothing in here that'll help at a time like this? Oh, what a mess. Been too busy to clean it out all this time. Ogin is determined to die. That's the answer he's come to. After a long and harrowing journey. What right do I have to think I know better? Besides, what could I do for him anyhow? I barely managed to get by as it is. How do I even go about fixing a busted soul? I'm just one man. One small, insignificant man. Damn it all. To my dear friend, Alfin. When you find this letter, no doubt you'll be off in some far-flung village somewhere. I was more than happy to urge you on in your journey, but truth be told, I was just a bit worried about you. Worried that along the way, you'd find someone and take on all their pain and suffering as your own. You've always had a sensitive streak, after all. But, should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions, remember what we learned together. Zeph. Zeph, you're back! That I am, Nina. Something the matter? Nothing you need worry yourself about. Alf. I've always admired your selflessness. In helping others, you think nothing of yourself. In that sense, you're the best apothecary and the best friend anyone could ask for. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. So go out there, Alf, and do what you feel is right. With your heart at ease and your head held high. P.S. This is far too embarrassing to say in person. So I'll just hide this letter underneath all your stuff. Pet idiot. Just reading that, my face is as red as a beet. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really got myself worked up over nothing, didn't I? 
I know what I need to do. And gods be damned if anyone will keep me from doing it. Ain't that right, Seth? I'll show everyone what I believe in. Including you, wherever you are. And you too, Ogin. Just you wait. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, you're looking more chipper. Huh? You were moping around like a stick in the mud for a while there. Is that right? Guess we can put that down to the encouragement of an old pal. Old pal? Yeah, I found a letter tucked away in my satchel. You'd think after all these years he could just say it to my face. Sounds like you got yourself a good friend. Ah, you got that right. You trust this friend of yours forever? No matter what? Damn right I would. Even if he betrayed you? Yep, because if he did betray me, he'd be because he didn't have any other choice. Like his little sister begged him to steal my sleepweed with tears in her eyes or something like that. Folk make mistakes sometimes, no point in throwing away a whole friendship over that. Uh, you're a bigger man than I gave you credit for. Alright. It's a lot of talking. Very little stuff going on so far. Sorry, old man. I'm here, whether you like it or not. Elfin, how many times must I say it? Just leave me here and go on your way. Oh, enough. Huh? Quit your belly aching and lie down before I have to knock you over. What? What in the God's name are you? So you're a stinking murderer. A sinner, huh? Great. Like I give a damn. It ain't my job to choose who lives and who dies. I ain't no God. If it's in my power to help a body, I'll be damned if that ain't what I'm gonna do. That's why I became an apothecary. That's what I believe in. There. That should keep you breathing for now. And just what do you plan to do next? Ain't it obvious? I'm gonna fix you. And not just your body. All of you. I'm gonna whip up an elixir that'll have you feeling like a new man. Just you wait, Ogin. Fix me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, I dash out of there like a man on a mission. But I can forget, you can't debate this idea of what to do next. <laughs> I never seen the likes of those symptoms. Should you ever find yourself losing the courage of your convictions, remember what we learned together. Come to think of it. One time a Zeph and I were studying together. Alfin. Remember when you were small and you got a, got real sick? You feared you were going to die. Slowly but suddenly your body cramped up until you couldn't even hold a spoon. And those terrible purple blotches I could hear hard, hardly bear to look at you. I'm trying to replicate the elixir that cured you, but to no avail. The child who saved you was really something else. Ah, <laughs> uh, too bad we weren't of a mind to ask for a recipe back then, huh? So he had the same disease? <laughs> <clears throat> Fun times have so much for remembering. Hmm. Wait a minute. Couldn't hold a spoon? Hasn't Ogan been dropping his tools? And purple blushes? I can't believe No, it couldn't be. It's too much of a coincidence, or is it? If Ogan has the same disease that I had, that means there is a cure. The same cure that saved my life. 
Ah, think, Alvin, think. How did he make the medicine? Ah, what am I kidding? I couldn't even remember my own symptoms until now. Damn it all. Damn it all. Must be in there somewhere. Think. Think. Great. There, that should do. You're a lucky boy, Alfin. These had all but taken over. You had a day or two at best. She so happens to come along when I did. With this potion in hand. <laughs> Fate works in mysterious ways. How long did I labor to brew this elixir? And from ingredients that I may never see again. Tell the truth, I was meant for another, but that hardly matters now. Saves your life, it'll be more than served this purpose. Sleep tight, son. You'll be feeling better in the... In, in the morrow? In, in the tomorrow? Time travel? Like... Oh crap, what's that movie called? Inception? Traveling Pocketary, at least I think that's what he said. Goes around the world helping a blah blah blah, elixir recipe. Hmm? Still awake, are we? What's in the potion, you ask? <laughs> ah, you were interesting when you said you wanted to be an apothecary, were you? Very well. We might refuse such an inquisitive young mind. Alexa was brewed from the feather of an ogre eagle, a fearsome beast whose wings span so wide they could block out the sun. They terrorized the skies above the forest of Rube. Rube? Not far from Orwell. A boy like you would be wise not to wander there. Lest you got snatched up and spirited away above the clouds. Convenient, we're in Orwell. Damn, I know how, but I remember... No. All I need is the feather of an ogre eagle. And the flame take me if the forest of Rubain just outside of town. You saved my life again, stranger. Let's go. Hang in there, Ogun. I'm going to fix you up as good as new. Right, finally you get her ass is moving. Trail to the forest of Ruba. Let's make this uh, journey quick. It's been quite the uh Talkative episodes or chapter, I should say. Then I guess you know, Alfin. Alfin's story is more about his personal journey than any sort of uh, fighting or or violence. So it makes sense that it's a lot of talking. Out of my way. It'll be interesting to, interesting to see what this ogre eagle looks like. My turn. Chest. Same enemies. I am ready. When did I fight these enemies? Like, because their weaknesses are all uh, explored, so it's like I fought them before some somewhere. Can't remember. Already time to steal the show. Where's the nearest tavern? Okay. 
Okay, it's quite a bit to... Uh... Explore, actually. Let's make it, uh, make it quick. At this point, fighting regular monsters just isn't interesting anymore. You're just looking for story on uh, story and bosses now. Nothing else. Okay, so this is actually the. R no, it was not the right way. So that end. My turn. Let's grab the chests. Do we turn on basic maneuvers? Let's see how far I can get before I get encountered again. Uh, quite often. Let's keep it off for now until unless in case we run into a cat. Perfect seed. Man, there's a lot of chests here. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Bring it on. Here, something down here. Come on, I've got better things to do. Another <laughs> dead end area, probably with a chest. that? Augmented bow of the falcon. Didn't seem that strong. Step right up. <laughs> 30k. Not sure if I need that anymore, but This one. Should I be using this? Let's go back to using um, critical hit rate. Because I can just do physical augments uh, with primrose. <laughs> But at the same time, I can just use divination with Brimrills too, right? Eh, let's use it. Divination. Yeah, divination is probably easier to cast. Actually, they're the same to cast. I'd rather go for um, if the it's like, if it's gonna cost me one cast or one turn, one action, anyways. 
I'm gonna go with the fist one. Okay, how do we get this one? Here. I'll make this quick. So technically the best one would be to add 50 fizz damage. This because I can just use correct. augment and divination. That's two turns. I can rarely find two turns to just casually buff Therion. Usually Primrose is more busy. Like if you're fighting uh, hard bosses, finding two turns to cast some Damage buffs on Therion is a little bit uh, of a challenge. Because we're probably busy... Um... Stacking BPs and... <laughs> casting Divines and uh, stuff like that. So... And I see the chest in the back there. This is the beginning of your end. Bring it on! Their lord is encounters are frequent. <laughs> Almost there. Just go grab this. Ooh, what's in the background here? <laughs> Top right side. It's like this red pinkish. Imperial. All oh, right, we got some armor. Forgot to check. Sorry. Vendetta armor. Where are you? Max HP six hundred and seventeen. What now? It's a lot of elemental defense. Can't really give that up. It's a huge decrease in defense, though. Ah, I'm fine with it. Even though 600 and some HP is a lot. That is quite a chunky amount. Let's see what you got. I am ready. This should... Oh, wait. There's something else here. And this chapter... Alfin's chapter has been a little bit uh, tedious. Not gonna lie. Gads, but you're a big one. But I know what I need, and I ain't living here without it. <laughs> this should be fun. Very cool, very colorful. I like it. Right. This one probably has a lot of spells. Probably wind spells. Probably some um With power. Physical attacks as well. What's the chuck? But they don't. They're probably not. My turn. The. Okay, we just have to wait for the confusion to pass. I was gonna I use an shoot. item, but it's like, nah. Here I go. No need. So in the meanwhile, I'll just use. Um, I'll just set up uh, size up. My turn. I appreciate it. Really? Shut up. Let's do this. Yep. Still doing his thing. Let's hope we don't get hit by a hard hard hitting spell.
boost. All stars fill us with power. <laughs> There's the spell. Okay, let's find out what weaknesses you have. Those are elemental weaknesses, okay. Really? Can you cast Icicle, Alvin? No. <gasps> Use one of the... Uh, Okay, there we go. Alfin is up and running. Let's hope he doesn't. With the grace of Seal Let's hope he doesn't get hit again. Oof. So it's ice lightning, or it's ice or lightning. It's one. Of, it's both, actually. Yeah, it is. Who did I donate BP to? You? I don't. I just use transfer. Here we go. Right back at you. Out of my way. Well, so much for me to do. I appreciate it. Really? I am ready. Your stars fill us with power. I'm going a little slower than I need to. I just what want to see do? what. Uh, But it's weak too. Just gonna hit it with uh, the Rune Lord Divine skill. All right. Right back at you. Oh, I should have boosted that. That's okay. I'll get another one. My turn. I appreciate it. Really. Nice Here goes try. nothing. Another one. Oh, right. right back at you. I am ready. Let's use the healing skill for once. See how it looks like. It's actually not that potent. Right. Hit it in the face. Alright, I can have just checked that with Alfred, <laughs> actually. I am ready. That is okay. Is there anything I want to do? All stars fill us with power. Bring Since we're getting on. some health, I'm just gonna icicle here. Nothing to do with Therion. I appreciate it, really. What to do? Let's just use uh, Ice Rune. A rainbow colored toxic. What? I didn't catch what was happening. Great. Out of my way. 
Um, she was gonna break it, but that's okay. I'll use uh, ice, a small ice stone. Take this. Soul stone, I mean. No good. Ah, let's just use another. There. You like that? Here goes nothing. Alright, it doesn't come back. I mean, she doesn't come back. It works the same way as a dragon. Class sap your life. Out of my way. Some weak to anything. Already time to steal the show. And poisoned it. Where's the nearest tavern? Okay. And Tressa is gone. <laughs> Getting XP though while she's floating around and goofing around in the sky somewhere. Sorry about that. But this pinion of yours is going to save my uh, a man's life. All right. All right, Yogan. Like it or not, here I come. It's me, Alfin. I'm back, old man. <sighs> Can you keep it down? My head is throbbing, something terrible. Sorry about that. Oops, sorry about that. Anyway, time to get to work. You what? You really believe you can save me? Ridiculous. How could you ever. <laughs> man saved my life years ago. A man not so different from you, come to think of it. Hmm. Listen here, Ogan. I may call you an old man, but it's too soon for you to go. People are suffering out there. Dying. There are plenty of lives you can still save. Maybe you're right. I once met a man who said the kinds of things you say. Hmm? He was an apothecary, too. In my darkest hour, it was his words that stayed my hand. Despite having no hope, nothing to live for, he convinced me to press on. Who was he? What the heck could he have said to a mess like you? Uh, same Logan, dude. Look at your hands. Just two, and yet they have the power to save innumerable lives. Live, Ogan. If not for yourself, for those who still need you. All around you, people are suffering and dying. There are plenty of lives you might yet save, if you have it in you to save them. Why... Why are you helping me? What's that? When someone's in a bind, you help them out. As simple as that, wouldn't you say? Huh. Those were his words to me. It's the damnedest thing, but somehow you remind me of him. Gadzooks. Those words. I heard them too, when I was just a boy. You what? There's no doubt about it. That's the man who saved my life. Thanks, mister. But why'd you save me? We ain't got no money, you know.
Listen, son, and listen well. I saw someone in a bind, and I helped him out. Simple as that. Shucks. I hope I can do that too someday. I'd never seen anyone like him before. His words, the miraculous potions he made. He didn't just save my life. He gave me a whole new sense of purpose. And so I became an apothecary. Wait, voice acting is done now in the middle of the scene? Fate truly works in mysterious ways. Maybe you can help me. Tell me more about him, Oaken. I don't even know his name. Graham was his name. Graham Crossroad. Is that the guy that owns the notebook? Oh, he doesn't own it, but he, like he was writing in Tressa's notebook? I think that was the same guy. Ten years ago that I met him, I was traveling the realm as I was. Said he was searching for a remedy for his dear wife, who had been stricken with a deadly malady. He's still mixing salvies and brewing elixirs, was like nothing at ever. His skills at mixing salvies and brewing elixirs was not like nothing at ever seen. He traveled from town to town, healing the sick and wounded at every turn, and still managed to fashion elixir he sought in two short years. But it was too late. His beloved had already passed on and never to return. He told me a story of a bright young boy to whom eventually gave the medicine. Ah, I think I'd meet the boy in the flesh one day. So that medicine was meant for his wife, but he gave it to uh, Alfin. <laughs> After he saved my life, he wandered off again to who knows where. Word has it that he later passed on to meet his love. <sighs> so he's gone. At any rate, it all makes sense now. Graham didn't choose his patience, he helped everyone he could, just like you. We didn't we didn't always see eye to eye, but I respect the man, and uh, I'd like to think the feeling was mutual. I see. Thinking back on it, taking with you well, talking with you was oddly familiar from the start. Your innocence, naivety, whatever you want to call it, it's like a mirror image of the man. Oh. <laughs> Carrying on his legacy as well as any man could. Even if you are a sentimental sap. Or a sap. <laughs> <laughs> Takes one to know one, old man. Thanks for everything. Ogan, you sure you're okay? Aye. Thanks to you, I'll live to see another day. For a couple nights there, I didn't think I'd make it. But it seems your brew won out in the end. You'll forgive me if I don't say thank you. This wasn't the fate I asked for, after all. Don't mention it. That grave. Did you make that? Just my way of paying tribute. Only wish I could have met him once more. Huh. Oh well, eh? Knowing him, I think he would have felt the same about you. Well... Guess I'll be off then. After all, there's still folks out there who need my help. What about you, old man? What about me, indeed? Guess I'll keep on living, at least for now. And atone for my sins as best I can. I imagine there are still people out there who need me as well. 
First Graham. Now you. You help me remember what it means to be an apothecary. <laughs> Ah, uh, shucks. Guess that means I was right about something after all. Be safe here. I reckon you won't get lost in your travels after this. And me neither, mind you. <laughs> if you say so. He's heading off to the bird? Or the ogre eagle? It was an age when the medicine arts were still in their infancy, with war and disease rampant, the sick and the suffering depended on men and women who brewed remedies with wisdom and compassion. Men and women known as apothecaries. Ah, that's Alfin. I guess that's Nina and uh, Zeth. And some old patient. What happens if you talk to him? Oh, first we need to steal from him. Hey. Nothing. Alright, well, that was this episode. Um, that was our crew, so in the next episode... I'm thinking Cyrus and Hornet. At the very least, Hornet. Whether we do Cyrus or not depends on how I feel after um, doing Hornet. If it's a lot of talking and reading, I might be a little bit tired, so we'll see. Um, yeah, but I definitely want to do Hornet. I think this is going to be a bit of a challenge to fit Hornet into this team. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight Red Eye, so yeah. Anyways, that's for the next episode. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.